Hey, Ecock 45, haven't seen a vlog for a while, have you? We're not even on the log. Sorry about that. Just decided to do it here in my new office. You know, haven't done a vlog. Man, it must have been a couple of months, I guess, since we've really done a, a vlog. And I've been remiss. I'm sorry. I know you miss all the profound things I have to say sitting in the woods or sitting anywhere, right? Well, was just in the mood and uh, thought we'd visit for a while just in kind of a relaxed way, no pressure on you to listen, no pressure on me to say anything too intelligent. That's what I like about vlogs and radio shows. Well, I guess for that matter, I don't say anything too intelligent in any video, right? But anyway, uh, thank everybody again for tuning in and uh, helping us keep the thing going. It's uh, busy, busy, busy as usual, and I thought you might like to see my, uh, my new office here. You know, I'm I'm not really retired, I just gave up one job and, uh, and now uh, I can devote a little more time to, to, to this one and uh, labor of love. And my office is right here on the porch, so I thought you might enjoy seeing uh, my new office here where I kind of manage uh, the channel and trolls and uh, comments and questions uh, right here in the great outdoors lots of times. Cool thing about this office is, you know, my other office uh, in my teaching gig, I had a really nice office. I'll have to say I was lucky. A great classroom. It was a beautiful place. Beautiful place. I hadn't talked much about that, you know, when I was doing that. But it was a great corner, gigantic classroom, uh, new, had a ceiling projector, remote capability with laptops. All the kids had laptops, and uh, I could walk anywhere in the building and project on my uh, screen and you know, it was just really high tech and, and really cool situation, great office and everything. I kind of like this office though, you know, this office has one thing my other office did not have. Guess what that is? Yeah, shooting range. <laughs> and just to emphasize that point, look what I happen to have. couple of misses there, kind of an awkward position. I was trying to get the cowboy and a couple other things. So good old 44 Magnum. Uh, this was one uh, one piece that I, I you know, didn't really have in my other office either, a 44 Mag. So uh, nice thing about this office is I have a use for a 44 Magnum. You just never know. If I get the uh, urge to plink a little bit, you know, I can do it. Uh, see a wild boar walk by. Uh, Cape Buffalo, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm in good shape. So anyway, the shooting range is something that's kind of nice about this one, and I thought you might, uh, might enjoy that. So here I am in the morning managing uh, things, cup of coffee. Uh, so John comes by, we sit at the table and chat about what uh, torment we can deliver to you all via video. And, uh, you know, it's kind of nice, kind of nice. So anyway, uh, what we're going to talk about. Well, like I say, this this is uh, of course one one good spot to to manage uh, you know things, and uh, you know if it, the only problem with it is you get a really obnoxious troll comment. You know what the temptation is, don't you? Pull out the 44. Better make sure we're not loaded. Pull out the 44. Bam! Right? <laughs> no, nah, that wouldn't work. Uh, I rely on you all to to help uh, <laughs> get those those people out of there, and. Uh, uh, it's a small part of it, you know. I realize that with our channel, we don't really have as much of that as a lot of people do. We're very fortunate, very, very fortunate. And you guys really help us manage it, and we solicit your assistance with that. Because again, as I uh, reiterate quite often, we we really want to keep it uh, so that you know ten year olds can watch, and you know grandmas and, and everybody, and and not be like in shock if they read a comment, you know that kind of thing. I don't think they'll be in shock just from watching the video other than from maybe my lack of intelligence, but yeah, I don't want them to be shocked from what they, they read, you know, if at all possible. It is the internet, it is YouTube, uh, but uh, we're pretty fortunate that it's, it's not too bad. Uh, one thing I want to mention before I forget, and again, this is just a relaxed, uh, you know, vlog, is that one of my projects uh, I want to get done this summer soon 
is get everything in a playlist. Uh, if, if you don't know that, a lot of the videos uh, over the last year uh, or more are not in a playlist. So you need to do some organization there. And I think most people come to the videos through searching for various things. And they know when you get to the channel, oh, I wonder if Hickok has a video on an XDS or whatever, you know to search the channel and that sort of thing and don't even go through playlists, but I think some people do. Don't get the impression if you go into playlists, let's see what Hickok has on XDs or something. And you know everything I've done with an XD is not in there. So just be aware of that, be aware of that. And in case you didn't know how to search, you know when you go to the home page on anybody's channel, you click on that little, what is it, a little magnifying glass there, uh, right in the middle uh, underneath the banner and you just type in, you know, XDS or 44 Magnum or whatever, and uh, it tells you, you know, what if there's something like that, you know, on that person's channel. Y'all are aware of that. Of course, you search all of YouTube up there and look for it too. But uh, searching someone's channel is just just right there beneath the banner. Okay, you got. Uh, of course, everybody's just pretty much the same now, right? You got videos, discussion about, and then you got the little uh, magnifying glass, you know, signifying search. And just, just be aware of that. You can, anytime you're there, you wonder if uh, me, somebody else has a video on a particular topic, you can just uh, look for it that way. So, just wanted to mention that in case you forgot about that or didn't, didn't know about it. Uh, we're, we're not getting quite as much, speaking of trolls, I think quite as much in the area of anti gun. Some of that is, uh, has, has gone, has subsided to some extent. Uh, still get some of it, get some really stupid stuff. Uh, well, one thing I wanted to mention about that, there was a there was an anti-gun weird comment on a video a couple three days ago, and I didn't see it for I don't know twenty hours or something I don't know. But uh, by the time I saw it, uh, there were a lot of people who had replied to the person, you know, and of course tried to put him in his place and you know made a more sensible comment in reply to this person. Not that it probably mattered, right? But uh, it was a really obnoxious comment. I blocked him and deleted him. But the thing is, there's so many people that, that comment. I think I just off and on throughout that morning, I was deleting comments where they had replied. What, what I do, you may not agree, but, but if there's really, really something stupid and, and, and all that on there, obnoxious, if I block and delete that person, then I try to, and I want to clean it up, I'll just, uh, anybody that's replied, uh, may be deleted too. So just be aware of that. I've talked about that before. You might have made a really astute comment or observation and uh, might be one of our long time loyal you know, viewers. But if you've, uh, you know, if you responded to somebody like that, you, you may get cleaned up in the same process. So you're aware of that. I'm not, uh, you know, and if there's some crazy conversation like that, I don't even read it all, you know, that goes on and there's like 15 people that have gotten into this big battle over something and all kinds of crazy language and comments and maybe even bigotry and everything else. I used to go through, do click, 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 delete it. I don't have time to, to even read it all. I just get rid of it, okay? You're aware of that. And I think most of you uh, appreciate the fact that you know, I try to take the time to keep the channel reasonably uh, sensible. And, uh, and I think it helps too when people come to the channel and they see that it's not a crazy place, generally speaking. It's not totally crazy, and so they're probably less likely to, to jump into a fray like that and even make those comments, because by and large, uh, we have a more mature uh, viewership, really do, than, than a lot of YouTube channels. Uh, but anyway, a little housekeeping you know, stuff there, just want to make you aware of. Uh, one of the things that I know, too, recently, were <laughs> I, uh, uh, I wanted to mention about the World War II video or the uh, I guess it was the Thompson uh, video we posted recently and uh, and I casually mentioned about my experience of World War II and for some reason there are those of you who amazingly didn't believe I served in World War II I don't understand it what's wrong with you <laughs> I'd only had to be 90 years old you know but I put in a description about how you know my parents weren't even married, and uh, it was five or more years after that war was over before you know I came into the world. So anyway, you know, I, I just assume people would realize that. I assume too much sometimes, but uh, you know, most of you that have been around a while, you know, I make that crack. You know, I have fought in the Revolutionary War. I have uh, 
fought in the Civil War, and you know, I was at Gettysburg, and you know, I make those cracks all the time. You do notice I never make those cracks about jokes about being in Vietnam, you know, unless it's a real obvious joke. I never make those cracks. There's nothing more obnoxious than a, to me, than a poser or somebody who pretends to have done something he hasn't done, you know, or served when he hasn't. I mean, I know you all feel the same way about that. It's just, they're totally obnoxious. But so I would, you know, I try to stay away from anything that could be interpreted that way. So anyway, when I think I'm making an obvious joke, sometimes it's not as obvious, but y'all are aware of that, most of you. But anyway, there are a lot of people who didn't get that. I guess I look older than I think I do. My gosh, do I really look 90? Do I look that old? <laughs> I must. <laughs> that was a revealing, I guess it was a revealing comment. The joke was on me. You know, I joke about, I guess if I joked about being in the Civil War, I, I'd have had some people, yeah, you, can't, you do look about 150 years old, come to think of it. So I guess the joke was on me there. Anyway, you're all aware of that, uh, I hope, most of you. So just wanted to reiterate that. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? Uh, got some pretty cool videos coming. We got uh, some things that uh, we've done that uh, you know involve the uh, the NFA uh, you know, weapons and licenses and things. Still got some more of that stuff. Some cool stuff that uh, you'll be seeing. Want to do some more black powder? You know, we've done a little bit here recently. Uh, got some bolt action action coming. Uh, you know, and that's the thing. Uh, I enjoy all that stuff, as you know. Uh, all you do is look through the, the videos. I enjoy the old cap and balls and the, the flintlock and the clocks and bolt action military guns, the MP5. Doesn't get more fun than that, does it? You know, so uh, anything like that that we can get our hands on or that I already own, you know, we'll continue bringing it to you because uh, I like all that stuff. And uh, I know a muzzle loader doesn't appeal to everybody and a suppressed MP5 doesn't appeal to everybody out there, but I don't know, they all appeal to me and uh, John, and so uh, we'll, we'll continue uh, with the variety. Uh, it's just, just fun stuff, fun stuff. Uh, one of the things too I want to remind everybody of is, you know, things have calmed down a little bit. Like I say, we're not getting as much of the anti-gun sentiment, you know, on the channel, and maybe in general, uh, you know, in, in this country, uh, it's still there, of course, and they're still working, working hard at the state level. Uh, you know, we we got to keep up the fight. We can't, we can't uh, relax too much. Uh, continue to support the causes any way you can. You know, continue writing your congressmen, your your senators, and making your voice heard and representing all of us well. Which is again, you know, goes back to the channel and I think the the uh, the image we present. Now, I know in some videos we may have a little too much fun, but I think by and large uh, we, we represent the shooting community in a positive light. And, uh, and most of you all do, you know, in your comments and just in the videos you all make, you know. So that's, that's all a big part of it. It's a big part of it. And as I've said before, people who come on to any YouTube channel, not just ours, and they just, you know, spew out hatred or bigotry or anything like that, uh, it, it really represents all of us poorly, badly. And I mean, there's going to be that in any group. You're going to have a percentage, right? But, but still, you know, uh, if you're a young person or an old person, and I don't know, for some reason you've just got a lot of hate in your gut, you know, uh, I don't know. You know just realize that that stuff, it, you're, you're hurting the Second Amendment. You are damaging the Second Amendment, basically. You know, you're putting in jeopardy the rights because it's an image thing. You know, uh, perception is everything. And if people think that we're a bunch of kooks, and you tune into a video, and and maybe they don't even look at half the video, but they see unbelievably uh, bigoted comments and stuff like that, it's like, wow, yeah, that's right. I knew sh I knew those gun nuts were like that. You know, so. And then, of course, we have the option or the uh, possibility that it could be could be you know, people doing that intentionally, you know, from the anti-gun side. You know, that's always a possibility. You might be one of those if you're leaving anti-gun comments. I don't know. It's uh, you just never know. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's 
it's too bad you can't use logic, isn't it? I mean, somebody the other day left a comment about, uh, in reply to somebody, you know, about uh, how you're, what, 41 times more likely to be killed by a gun in your house than to kill a burglar or something like that. All that, all those crazy, logical, illogical arguments that have been around forever, you know, that, you know, they just, they just keep recycling that stupid stuff, you know, like how, you know, <laughs> You know, it's like I was telling somebody, yeah, a fire extinguisher is more likely to fall over and bruise your toe than it is to put a fire out in your house, too. So what are you going to do, not have a fire extinguisher in your house? You know, I mean, I mean, think about that logically. Every day I've had a firearm around, I have been safer. Every single day. Think about it. I live here in the woods. Every day that I have a firearm handy at night, I have slept better. I have been protected. I mean, to an extent, you know, there's no total protection. But if someone came breaking in, could have been any night of the last 10, 20, 30 years, I have been protected. So that gun has done something every single day. It has protected me every single day. You don't know when something's going to happen. It's likely not to, but it could, as we know. Check the news. Uh, so yeah, it's done its job every single day, just like the fire insurance on my house. No, not had a fire yet, knock on wood. But every single day I've been protected by that fire insurance, you know, by having it every single day. So, so what are you going to say? Well, your that insurance, that homeowner's insurance is more likely just to cost you money than to uh, replace your house because it's not likely your house is going to burn. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's unlikely. Yeah, so, so what do you do? Not have fire insurance. See? Anyway, it all goes back to that same old argument. It's, it's better to have it not need it than to need it not have it. Uh, here I got off onto a tangent, but that's okay. I can do that. <laughs> My only director is John, and he has a hard time controlling me sometimes. Right? So anyway, a little bit like a radio show. I'll get off on uh, on tangents. So anyway, uh, just wanted to chat with you. You know, kind of check in, say hi. Reminds you not to feed the trolls, uh, you know, because uh, we're not going to change them much. Just get them out of there. There's also a troll hanging out that's a, he's a, um, I think he's a KKK member. He keeps coming back, you know, from time to time. Picks out the big videos and pokes some kind of, I don't know, uh, racist junk on there, you know. And uh, I try to keep that cleaned up. You know, just just whatever it is. You all help me out. We'll, we'll keep it as uh, sane as we possibly can. Uh, it's John's job to keep the videos sane and keep me sane, but uh, then I'll try to keep the comments halfway sane. Can't do it totally, but we try to. So anyway, we're having a great time. It's summer, and uh, it's been really, really busy. Uh, we've got several things that we're planning, and uh, we're going to bring you lots of different firearms this summer. Having fun doing it. It's uh, rain for about a solid week, I think. But uh, we'll get some good weather and uh, pull out some, some things maybe you haven't seen too much of uh, yet. And uh, just uh, keep checking in and uh, keep the communications open. I cannot answer everything, as you know. You can imagine the hundreds of messages I get. Uh, if you send a message, please keep it as brief as you can. Simple to read. And uh, I, I get messages every now and then that that really require a video you know they, they kind of will go into hey i'm thinking about getting a gun i can't decide between this that and um, you know this and that you know really we try to cover all that in the videos as much as possible so you kind of need to distill that down to a to a simple question or two if at all possible or people will ask me what are your thoughts on something that would take an essay you know to explain and you know then i've got 50 more questions i need to to try to to look at and answer and again i uh I don't always answer everything. I read everything, and if it's hey Hickok, uh, sure would like to see you do a star or pistol, or something, something like that. You know, I, like, I make a mental note of that as I go on to the next message. You know, so I don't write an answer to all of those kinds of things. Uh, generally, if you ask me a question, if it's not too convoluted, and it's something I can actually answer, you know, fairly briefly, I'll I'll uh, touch on that and give you an answer. Of course, as you know, uh, those who have written me, so. And it's cool. We've been running into a lot of you at gun shows and as we get around. So a lot of you I've seen. 
uh, again, being able to put faces uh, to usernames, and uh, that's kind of cool. So uh, be sure if you see me around, you say hi. I always like to meet uh, viewers, and uh, we've been fortunate to meet quite a few in the last uh, few months. So hopefully we'll get around and, and meet some more of you guys. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? We appreciate you all watching, I'll tell you that, and uh, we're going to keep making videos as long as you guys stay on that side of the computer and you keep tuning in. So, uh, I, I can't say enough how we appreciate your support of the, of the channel and of the videos and helping manage the channel and, uh, you know, uh, watching my back, you know, uh, on all the videos, that, that's really good because I don't see everything. I try to get around and see a lot of it, but I don't see everything and I appreciate your all's help. I don't know what we do without you loyal you know, viewers uh, because you know what we're trying to do. Uh, you know the mission more or less of the channel, the kinds of things we do, how we like to do it and what we're all about. A lot of people come in new, don't see it right away, you know, but help us educate those people if you will. And uh, they see a few videos, they'll start to, to, to get a feel for what we do and you know, even <laughs> maybe understand my sense of humor. You know, my poor students had to go through the same thing. I know some of y'all suffer through that. There's probably somebody listening right now who fell for that World War II joke. And, you know, I have sympathy for you. My students definitely have sympathy for you because they had to put up with that every single day, you know. And, uh, you know, sorry, I just can't help it. It's just the way I am. Anyway, I'll quit rambling and uh, we'll try to do more vlogs this summer. Maybe do a radio show here before long. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves. Keep watching YouTube. Life is good.